so good to us. Hello everyone. I trust you are doing well today. Glory be to God. Praise God for another day. Say it with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yay, I'm glad. I hope you are too. We have a lot to be glad about. Amen. Amen. Today, my background is of somebody's beautiful photo. Yes, I saw it on Facebook in their, you know, post. And I thought, ooh, 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 I got to take a picture of this. So I did a screenshot. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful roses. Love, love roses. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into God's word, starting with Joel Olstein's daily reading, The Power of I Am. Today's title is Take Hold of Strength. Oh, let him take hold of my strength and that he may make peace with me and he shall make peace with me. That's from Isaiah 27, 5, from the NKJV. When you declare, I can handle it, you're taking hold of strength. When you say it, you're getting stronger. That's why the scripture says, let the weak say, I am strong. Listen to what you're saying to yourself. I can't stand this job. This class is too difficult. My boss is the worst. If you're always talking about problems, that's draining you. When you talk defeat, strength and energy are leaving. Quit letting those things overwhelm you. You are not a victim. You are a victor. It came your way. You are ready for it and equal to it. If you will stay in agreement with God, he will take what is meant for harm and he will use it to your advantage. That difficulty won't defeat you. It will promote you. Amen. 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 I so agree with that. So, so, so agree with that. All right. And today's scripture from the Holy Bible is Colossians 3.23 from the New International Version, NIV. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. That's right. God is our boss. Amen. Amen. All right. And now for David C. Hevener's Clear My Vision. Since everything here today might well be gone tomorrow, do you see how essential it is to live a holy life? Daily expect the day of God eager for its arrival. The galaxies will burn up and the elements melt down that day, but we hardly notice. We'll be looking the other way, ready for the promised new heavens and new earth. All landscaped with God's righteousness. That's from 2 Peter 3, 11 through 13. Living a holy life is not about performance or measuring up. Instead, it's about eagerly participating the day of God, his second coming. As we focus on the promised new heavens and earth, we are filled with God's focus, our whole being waiting in anticipation for his return. When he comes, we will hardly notice the destruction of evil because we will be looking the other way. Focus on the kingdom of righteousness, our new home with him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so true. The prayer here today is, Lord, thank you. 
over and over again. You remind us how to focus on you. Surely, as we continue to read these daily scriptures, you are clearing our vision. We feel closer to joining you in the promised land. Yes, we do. Amen, amen, and amen. Oh, that is so beautiful. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for your strength that you give to us. And Lord, we will continue to focus on you knowing that our job, what we think is our boss here on this earth is not. You are our boss. You are our master. So Father, we work diligently for you. We honor you with what you've given us to do. And Father, we pray for your will to be done in our lives of whatever the circumstances are. We will always honor and praise you because we know you have a plan and we know that whatever it is that's so hard, this too shall pass. You're going to promote us. You will promote us. Thank you for that. And Father, we look forward to the day that you come, the second coming. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's going to be while we're here on this earth or not. But wow, it's going to be a glorious day. We're, gonna, we're not going to see the evilness that's going to be happening because we are focused on you. We will be praising and glorifying you, watching you come and take over this earth again. And for your second coming, for your blessings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for all that you have done to show us and pave us the way, the way for us to live here on this earth and how to be focused to our Father God. Praise you, Lord. We ask of all these things in your glorious name and righteous name. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, my dear brothers and sisters, until tomorrow, farewell.